Hello everyone and welcome back to Corporal Spambio where, where today we are heading up and right back down to Lua to start colonizing it. Also, I'm again talking way too fast and I am... There we go. Reached where my mind is. So, we're launching this rocket with these new engines because I have new mods installed. If you haven't seen the stream, if you haven't joined the stream last week, how the fuck dare you? <laughs> That's a joke. To everybody who joined, thank you. But uh, if you joined it, you have seen the mods that are installed. Uh, they are installed accidentally. I was trying to install KSC because it broke. And I load in the game, I open VAB, there's like a bunch of new mods. I'm like, what the fuck? Why the fuck there are too many mods? Why the fuck do I have new parts? Because I the only new part mod that I wanted to uh, play with is the cryo engines but here we are with the new engines and new parts apparently which is fine which is fine because I mean I've said in the past that I, I don't want new mods but now I'm quite open for them like new mods new stuff great stuff why not so yeah I built this pretty good looking rocket actually and launched our first base that is gonna be the colonizing of Lua. I mean, I went to Tao the previous time that I colonized Tao, but I want I want something bigger. Like I actually want something bigger. I want like one of those colonies that you see from KSP two, the posters and, and shit like that. I was like, I want to build that. And I have new mods and stuff, so why not? And I chose Lua because it's easy to get to. It has one of the most stunning fucking views. And I fucking adore it. Also, according to the story that Link gave us, it already had started terraforming it. So, yeah. What a perfect way, what a perfect place. There you go. What a perfect place to visit, to make a colony. It already has a launch pad to you, honey. Bruh, damn. If I'm gonna see if I can actually get uh, KC extended to work, I can actually make an entire base there, like entire space center. Because why the fuck not? So yeah, we launched, we circularized. Now we circularized around Lua. But while we're doing all of that stuff, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so that miss any new video launch, which is happening every single Tuesday. Now, the place that I wanted to land is in the eye, where I call it, it's, I call it the eye, I don't know if it has an official name, but I call it the eye. So whoever is playing Beyond Hole and making YouTube videos, I'm calling this place the eye, and whoever calls it something else, I don't have the power to say anything to them, so whoever calls it whatever the fuck they want, they can. So yeah. I want to land near water because, first of all, water is water and water is fucking great. Also, Scatterer g gives us stunning fucking water effects. I fucking adore it. I am just a motherfucking sucker for Mew, uh, for visuals. So, yeah. So, that's the first base being landed, but. That's not gonna be all for this today's video because we have another one to launch and it's gonna be a rover. Spoiler alert. Because this was, let's face it, pretty quick. Also this entire mission took me like 20 minutes, I was like gone instead of like three or four, three to three hours where I went to Tao. It was a pain there. It, it was pretty cool sometimes, and it, sometimes it was an absolute fucking pain, and I didn't fucking like it at all. So, yeah, whatever. Tau is Tau, and Tau is gone. Now we are on Lua, and it has rocks. It also has some trees, but I, did, I didn't find trees yet, but yeah. So, here we are at the second launch of today's video, which is this. Another just another one of these magnificent rockets which at in the bottom it has a fucking what was it called? Falcon 9 engine cluster, there we go. It has amazing plumes, 
like literally like mo most of it what you see right now is coming from the SRBs but now here it comes extending and it looks fucking cool props to the config makers so yeah again this was another one of the uh, excellently installed uh, parts so I'm glad it installed but yeah I <laughs> yeah, it wasn't planned it's like when you have sex and then not gonna get into too much detail but you accidentally get pregnant and then you give birth to a child that come becomes a fucking millionaire after a few years and you're proud of that child you're proud to be a mother of that child like I am now I'm the proud to be a father of these mods I'm not I didn't make them no whatever let's continue the tangent you're proud to be a mother or a father to that child but you can't deny the fact that that was fucking accidental and that's one of the best accidents that you have ever done in your life I don't know what I'm fucking I'm talking about but that's the example that I'm giving right now now this this thing may or may not cause more crashes a lot of like I have 8 gigabytes of RAM in my computer and that's barely enough to run all of these mods because they're like module manager tells me they're like 2500 of them, something. I don't fucking remember the exact number, but they are a lot of them. I don't know if how some people can run like 20,000 of them, but what the fuck? But yeah. So, I, I put a engine, I put an engine here on this thing, and later on I realized that it has spool up time for the when you light it up and spool down time whatever the fuck when you shut it down so that's a cool new challenge to have that's a cool new detail to have because a lot of rocket engines do have that property to slowly spool up and slowly spool down now obviously the RS25 engine the space shuttle engine had enormous amount of time of spool up you can see some videos like yeah, I probably not gonna put these videos in because I am afraid of getting copyrighted. So yeah, whatever. Now we have circular arrow road again. We're not saying goodbye to the road in any of these missions. I mean, we're technically leaving it, but we are just just at the neighbor, just at even the child. Like think of grandmother and grandfather of Agava of Road, and we are at the child. Or, yeah, whatever. Not gonna continue that tangent. So, we are getting close to land the on uh, the eye again. This is the second part. Yeah, it's an actual rover with a sky crane. You can see the space center down here. Beautiful stuff, beautiful stuff. So, yeah, let up that engine because we need the extra thrust weight ratio, even though it has lag. There we go. It has lag, whatever. Yeah. It's a, the now it looks pretty fucking ugly with the rover and the sky crane because the rover is thin and long, just like Slenderman. So yeah, and just like something else that you can think of. I'm not gonna say it, but yeah, I almost crashed, and I also did a quick save at all, like. In the, in these entire missions were made without quick saves because I'm a fucking dumbass. But I didn't crash, luckily, and I landed pretty fucking softly. Pretty nice landing, and it didn't even explode. So yeah. Now we have, we are going to dock that docking port that is in the. I mean, after I do some flips with the rover. We're gonna dock with that docking port on our base. So yeah, that's a good good thing to have. I almost forgot to bring more uh, like docking ports, so I was like, mm, shit, I almost fucked up. But in the future, I'm probably gonna stack them into uh, like cargo place and something like that. So, yeah. The terrain here is very fucking bumpy. Thank God for now, at least Parallax doesn't have the colliders, and we are going straight through them. 
I can't even imagine with these tiny wheels. Hey, a little bit. A little bit of drift. I can't even imagine how with these tiny wheels I'm gonna get through these giant bumps. I mean, I'm not a fucking tank. The, the builds that I made are not, a, not fucking tanks. Also, this thing ran out of electricity. The main base ran out of electricity. And it didn't really want to control that arm. Also, that arm's a fucking bitch because it just doesn't want to control. Like, I don't know why. Some of these uh, robotic parts are absolute pain. The sun is coming out. Everything is being beginning to shine. There's snow outside. It's still pretty fucking cold, but at least now I am even more lit that way. At least I brought an engineer to put like things together and rotate them so I can make stuff look good. I can actually fucking talk now. It almost didn't work, but just almost didn't so yeah there it is and we're docked so i was like we have another rover here why wanna just why not put it there i mean we have to travel through an ocean or a sea or a lake i don't know what the fuck it is but yeah i was like yeah sure why not just put it there put it there and let's move it so yeah, I put our drill mission that I sent quite a while ago there again. And it's part of our colony now because colonies are good, apparently. Yeah. So yeah, it was pretty hard to control because, I don't know, maybe low gravity of uh, Lua, but just these wheels wanted to drift along pretty well. So yeah, that wasn't too good, because I really don't want these things to drift so much. Like, yeah, drifting, too much drifting is not good. So yeah, hey, look at look at fucking road in the background. It just looks absolutely fucking stunning. I adore it. So yeah. Well, we're coming towards the end of the video. Actually, this time I am finishing the video. Whenever the video finishes, so yeah. I mean, I'm a bit early this time instead of being late. Yeah. Here we go. Stunning views from Lua. So yeah. Well, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, punch the button. Punch the button if you're new. And as always, I hope to see you next week. Until then, have an awesome week.